to go. So Porter was as acutely ill with heart failure as one can present without essentially dying. He was in profound cardiogenic shock, weak heart shock, wasn't pushing enough blood around to his bodies to supply the vitally needed blood and oxygen. There was a great deal of discussion, maybe a bit of debate on whether we should list Porter and get him a new heart or whether the heart he had would have a chance to recover and regain function. Detailed discussion with the family suggested that his heart had been failing for longer than it appeared to be. In the size of the heart, it was dilated. It was over seven centimeters, so we thought, geez, we think if we put all the information together, this looks like this is probably an irreversible cardiomyopathy. The chance of recovery is slim. Porter himself was not inclined to have an assist device. He'd seen how well his dad had done. So we decided to go with the heart transplant. Hey, dude. Love you.